Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with another Leftovers to Layouts, a series started for the month of April to use up some of the leftover bits and pieces from all of the layouts that we've already started this year. I'm going to use this Good Day Sunshine and all I have left from this collection is what's on this sticker sheet and this little hodgepodge of papers. Um, predominantly it is branding strips and some small little bits. I have a couple uh, cut aparts and this pink polka dot in the back is the largest piece of paper that I have and I'm not even going to use that in this layout. So I guess I'll have at least one more layout with this Good Day Sunshine leftovers. I have a full 12 by 12 white cardstock and I'm going to use the Scrapping Reflections Stencil of the Month um, as part of my background and um, I'm going to put these different colors that I felt went the best with this collection through the stencil. And the pictures I have are just in the car, so um, super simple. I've got my papers, my embellishments, my ink, and the pictures, so let's see how this goes. So I'm going to start with mustard seed, and I honestly don't have a specific um, idea of what I'm doing. I just want to put some ink on the back of this background paper. Since I did not have a full page to use as a background paper, I wanted to bring in, um, uh, the, you know, a solid page. And this is my way of getting around trying to match collections with Lucy Goosey papers. I've got tons of Lucy Goosey papers. Um, and I am terrible sometimes of matching. And so I just pull these inks out that I felt went the best with this. Um, so the next one is Salvage Patina. I do put that through a little harder than I had anticipated. But the good thing is that the darker blue is also in this collection, so it's fine. And then last but not least, I use some Fired Brick. Um, because I'm only using a couple of red embellishments for this, um, it's a pretty close match. So, um, and I am really, really happy with the way this turned out. Um, if I had gone a little lighter with the Salvage Patina, then it would have matched the lighter shade in this collection. So either way is fine. Um, and part of that could be because there was some blue on my blending brush so it's um a little salvage patina plus whatever I had on there before um and I'm okay with that because look how cool that is I love the way this turned out um I used to always think you had to just like fully fill in the stencils but I have watched so many amazing creators who just do like little here and there's and I just love the look of this and how there's just parts and bits that are um you know partially filled in and not completed there's that one little space in the middle that's not completed at all and I just I really do love the way this turned out so um I am now taking some of the branding strips and because it's Echo Park it's not a full 12 by a half you know 12 by a half branding strip it's just that little bit in the middle and I'm I have been throwing those away lately, which is actually pretty impressive for me, but I had already set, kept this collection out before I started being brave and throwing out my branding strips that were not full 12 inch strips. So, and I'm glad I did because now I've used those up or some of those up over here. And because I know I'm going to do one more layout with this, I will keep the two or three that are left. And then if I don't use those on the next layout, I will throw the branding strips away. If it's a full 12 inch branding strip that I feel is something I can use even on a layout that's not with this col the collection, I'm, I feel like I'll keep that. But if it's something really specific or like the color's hard to match, I may be brave and throw it out. <laughs> I'm not making any promises. I am really good at holding on to the pieces and the scraps and the papers, but I'm also good at using them. Now, I don't use a ton in this layout. I use those braining strips, this piece of blue, which leaves me with a very small little piece of that that I will be throwing away if I don't use it on the next layout. And then I use a piece of that red. Now, the red has writing on it, and I've matted my picture to where the writing sideways, but you can't tell 
because there's only a slight border around the picture. So I get those down and now I'm just going to start using the embellishments. Um, and in all in reality, we are in the car. We are on our way, I do believe, to um, my in-laws at the time. And um, we're just, you know, in the car. So it's a travel kind of thing. It is summer. This took place in June. So I wanted to add any kind of transportation type things on here. And I'm trying really hard not to be too themey because I'm one of those people who, you know, we didn't take an RV, so I'm not going to, why would I want to use this camper? We're not camping, you know. Um, I put a teepee on there, I, you know. I, we did not stay in a teepee. <laughs> so, I just, and there's no strawberries involved in any of this. My kids don't even really like strawberries. But, I think it's cute. I think that it works. It adds... Um, you know, little bits of embellishment and color all throughout the layout. And I love the way it turns out. So I am perfectly fine with the wagon, the, um, the, um, tricycle. I put two campers on here, um, as well as this potted cactus, things that don't necessarily apply at all to what's happening. There's a little doily. I'm going to cut that in half and use that as a little extra embellishment to get that on the layout. The only things that I'm not going to use are the smaller camper down there in the bottom. I'm going to, I'll put that on the next layout that I use. The ice cream cone, the bathing suit and the hat, and then that little flip flop, um, um, I almost said border. It's not a border. It's a banner up there at the top. I will use, I'll find some um, pool pictures uh, with one of my, uh, the girls in the family um, and put that on a layout with the rest of these scraps and the rest of these stickers. Even if the camper has nothing to do with it and we're not eating ice cream, I'll add it all. So I thought I'd put the camper here but decided I would put it down here. There's nothing of any consequence in this picture. Um, mostly it's just I wanted to have this picture of my kids being so funny in the back seat. I believe this is 2016. That's the year that I've been working on most recently. And that's it. This took me less than 28 minutes. And that includes, you know, getting the stencil taped down and untaped, which, you know, takes forever. Um, really it doesn't, uh, but <laughs> it still takes time. And here it is. Um, I really do love how fun and bright this layout is. Um, super simple and, um, stencils really can do a lot for your background. And I just am excited to start using all these and, um, kind of playing around with them. So, um, there are people who are hopping along with me in the leftovers to layouts um, series for this month. They will be listed below in my description box. I hope you will go check them out. I hope you'll come back and see me again because I'm going to try and do two or three of these a week plus some other hops that I'm participating in. And other than that, I hope that you all are having a wonderful day. Um, I hope that you have a chance to scrapbook today and happy scrapping. <laughs>